One of the things I'd really like to do while I'm down with a broken collarbone is find a reliable and accurate Presta pressure gauge. I went out and I bought four of the most popular digital gauges. I bought four of the most popular analog gauges and I bought an additional two of the most popular low pressure analog gauges. Those are gauges that read only from zero to 15 PSI. And I'm gonna test all 10 of them and I'm gonna find the most accurate ones. The rig I built for testing is an air coupler with a quarter inch national pipe thread plug placed inside it. Uh, before I did that though, I drilled a hole so that I could place a Presta valve inside that plug-in. And so this will attach directly into the air compressor so that I can get consistent readings and there won't be a hose that can expand and contract and mess with the pressure readings. I use the pressure regulator on my air compressor in order to set the tool pressure to 20 PSI. And then I checked 20 PSI with my trusted part tool air chuck. This one has given me reliable, accurate, and consistent readings. And so this is the base. This is ANSI and NIST certified. And there we have the four digital gauges that we'll be testing today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take each of these pressure gauges and I'm gonna take three pressure readings each at the pressure regulator. So not only will we get an idea of how accurate each of them are, we're also gonna get an idea of how consistent they are against themselves. The first one that we're gonna test is the Schwalbe Air Max Pro. It says that it has a maximum pressure of 160 PSI and a resolution to a tenth of a PSI. This is also the least expensive digital pressure gauge we're gonna test at $23.49. The Schwab uses a simple adapter to switch between Presta and Schrader. The Schwab Air Max Pro does not have a backlit display. Hold down the button five seconds to turn on. First reading, 20.3 PSI. Second reading, 20.3 PSI. Third reading, 20.3 PSI. The second one we're gonna test is the Blackburn Honest Digital Pressure Gauge. It says that it can go up to 150 PSI. It has a T head for Presta and Schrader, and it says it swivels. I think it swivels 180 degrees. It has an audible chime and is accurate to 1%. The Blackburn Honest Digital Gauge is backlit. Press to turn it on. First reading. Can't get a seal, I hear air leaking out of the head. Air is leaking out of the Schrader side of the head and I can't get a seal. We'll try something later on that. The third digital pressure gauge that we're gonna be testing is the SKS Air Checker. It says that it can use Schrader or Presta. It has a dual head, maximum uh, 144 PSI. It has a bleed valve and it says it's highly accurate. The SKS air checker has a backlit display. Turn the unit on. First reading, 20.4 PSI. Second reading, 20.5 PSI. Third reading, 20.5 PSI. At $39.95, the fourth and most expensive one is the Smart Gauge D2 by Topi. It says that it has a large display that reads in PSI bar and kilogram centimeter squared, has a smart head that works with Presta and Schrader valve. You can see that it only has one head, but it has a lever that you can adjust. It says it swivels 180 degrees and it has an air bleed button for uh, adjustment of the tire pressure. The Topi does not have a backlit display. Turn on the unit. First reading. 20 PSI. Second reading, 20 PSI. Third reading, 20 PSI. The first and least expensive analog pressure gauge at $8.79 is the AccuGauge Professional Tire Pressure Gauge. The AccuGauge has a large analog display, bleeder valve, and a brass head for Presta only. First test, 19 PSI. Second test, 19 PSI. Third test, 20 PSI. The second analog pressure gauge that we're gonna test is the GeoVenzo. It has a dual head for Presta and Schrader. It has a bleeder valve, and it measures up to 160 PSI on its analog face. First test, 20 PSI. Second test, 20 PSI. Third test, 20 PSI. It's very small, but that looks like 20, 21 PSI. Second test, 20 PSI. Third test, 20 PSI. The third analog gauge we're gonna test is by Godison and it comes in this hilarious cheap little box that says air, 
bicycle, comfort and strong. Inside you find something similar to the AccuGauge. It's a clear face, zero to 30 PSI. This one has a shock, protective shock boot, a brass head with a pressure release valve, and it is for Presta only. First test, 19 and a half PSI. Second test, 19 and a half PSI. Third test, 19 and a half PSI. The fourth analog pressure gauge that we're gonna be testing is the Jayco Bike Pro Tire Pressure Gauge. The Jayco is the most expensive analog gauge I'll be testing at $22.90. It reads up to 60 PSI. It has a Presta or Schrader, but you can see it's an adapter here. It has a bleeder valve, and it also has a hose, unlike the other analog gauges that I have. This is the only product that I'm testing today that says right on the box that it's ANSI certified. certified. That's the American National Standards Institute. So I'm really curious to see how the certified gauge stacks up against the rest. First test, 20 PSI. Second test, 20 PSI. Third test, 20 PSI. The first low pressure gauge that we have here is the 15 PSI Accu gauge. It's very similar to the 30 PSI in construction. It just measures only up to 15 PSI. Now we're gonna dial the pressure down since we're using a 15 PSI gauge, we'll be at 15 PSI. First test, 15 PSI. Second test, 15 PSI. Third test, 15 PSI. The other analog low pressure gauge is the Planet Bike Fat Max 15. It came in at most expensive for um, the low pressure gauges at $19.99. It has a Presta and Schrader screw out adapter and it has a large, very readable face from zero to 15 PSI. It also has a bleed valve. First test, 12 and a half PSI. Second test, 12 and a half PSI. Third test, 12 and a half PSI. Let's see what the Schwab says at this range. 14.8 PSI. I gotta say that I'm very surprised by that test. I had a lot of accuracy and consistency across all of these brands. Right now there's only two brands that I wouldn't recommend and one is the Honest Digital Pressure Gauge by Blackburn. I might be doing something wrong, I might have a defective model, but I just could not get it to seat on the Presta valve. I don't think that it's operator error, but I have to tell you, just holding this in my hand, it's not a very well-made piece of gear when I compare it to the other digital pressure gauges that I just tested. The other gauge that I wouldn't recommend is the Planet Bike Fat Max 15. It is also pretty cheaply made, but also, when we're talking about fat bike tire pressures, this was two and a half PSI off. If you're a fat bike rider, you know that two and a half PSI makes a big difference when you're riding pressures that low. Now I bought all new gauges for this test, but I was so surprised by the results that even though I had bought a brand new Accu gauge, I went and dug out my old Accu gauge to compare and see how this one might have drifted with time with maybe me just throwing it in the back of the car or dropping it. It's measuring out at 15 PSI, would you believe that? So if it's not about accuracy and consistency, because they all were pretty accurate and consistent, and it's just about which one I wanna keep, which one I like the most. Out of the four digital tire pressure gauges, the one that I'm gonna keep is the SKS Air Checker. It felt like it was the most well-built. It was the easiest for me to get a seat on the Presta valve as I was doing each of the pressure checks. Uh, I like the bleed valve. It has a nice feel to it when, you're, when you want to do some bleed. And for me, it was the easiest one to read. It does do 10th of a PSI as well. And I might want it on my fat bikes, I might want to have a half a PSI in difference in air pressure because it's important when you get down into those tire pressure ranges. Among the analog gauges, I really wanted to like the Jayco analog gauge, but the black face with the white numbers, uh, I found difficult for, to read. I know that they're glow in the dark and that might help in some situations, but it's not something that I find necessary. Also, I don't need this extra hose on this um, tool. The crazy award goes to one of the analog gauges and that's the GeoVenzo. Has the smallest face of any of these analog gauges yet they packed zero to 160 PSI on it. The surprise runner up for the digital gauges was the Schwab Air Max Pro. I'm a fan of simple function first design and this is a very simple, easy to use gauge that fits really nicely in your hand and is easy to get a seal with the Presta valve. I like it very much. For me, this was a really fun test to do that had some surprising results, but in the end, I'm glad that I ended up with one that I like that I can use when I return to riding. Later.